Hey there, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine of JSA, and joining me today is Mr. Mario Calderon. Mario is the VP of Real Estate at Server Farm. Mario, welcome always to uh, to JSA TV. Nice to see you, Dean. It's Thank great you. to see you. Yeah, of course, of course. So Mario, for our viewers that may not already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Server Farm and uh, overall what makes the, uh, the organization unique? Sure, happy to. Um, so Server Farm, uh, you know, we're a, a very dynamic company. Uh, we own and operate uh, data centers, uh, global portfolio, primarily North America, uh, Western Europe, England. So yeah, so uh, we, we go where our customers want to be. And uh, we are we service a global clientele of uh, um, you know very dynamic enterprise customers, and uh, I think the thing that really differentiates Server Farm from many other companies is that um, you know we um, we we are really as much an operations uh, company as we are a real estate uh, ownership company. So. I think that's really the key differentiator of Server Farm. We're, we're really well known now as a, uh, a, a very strong operations company in, in this business to the point where uh, our operations strength has led us to uh, other real estate opportunities around the world. I love it. I love it. It seems like uh, um, expansion um, is the name of the game for you folks lately, because that is really kind of what we want to talk about a little bit more today. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the new data center there in Atlanta? Yeah. So, uh, so Dean, uh, honestly, it's not a new data center for us. We actually acquired this data center about three and a half years ago. Um, but the, uh, we bought the data center under a little unusual circumstances, but this is a part of sort of server farms creativity. Uh, we'll take many avenues to get to the end game that, that we're looking for, which is to become the operator and owner and operator of, of a data center with quality uh, enterprise customers. You, you folks talk a lot about uh, data center management as a service. Um, is, is that really what that, that arrangement is with the, this entity in Atlanta? Uh, yes, it, it's a good example of, of what Server Farm does really, really well. Um, so, um, and one of the ways that we do that is not only do we, we manage the physical assets, but you know, Server Farm over the years, we have developed uh, through our operations teams, um, a, a, a model, a sort of an operational model that we deploy uh, in all of our data centers. Um, and we sort of tie, uh, you know, the aspects of that model together with a, a, a data center service platform that, that, that we have developed. It's a proprietary product, but we have developed that and we deploy it throughout all of our data centers. We also deploy it in third-party entities uh, operations globally. So Server Farm, we typically uh, will step into situations where either an enterprise has uh, built and owns or, or has leased, as it was in, in Atlanta, a data center that they simply don't utilize much of it. We'll buy those existing assets and we will repurpose. Uh, we will do what we did in Atlanta, for example. We'll right-size the capacity for the customer that's in that facility and then we will free up additional capacity to bring other customers uh, into the facility. Very good, Mario. So, uh, last question. I know that in uh, in June of last year, last year seems like it was a uh, a complete blur to me at this point. But in June of last year, you added 14 megawatts of capacity. <clears throat> excuse me, in Toronto, and in April, you acquired new facility in Los Angeles. I wanted to get that out, but. Um, mm -hmm. What, what else? What else is going on? What, um, what else might our viewers see from Server Farm in the second half of 2021? Um, we're doing a, uh, a major um, overhaul of our Amsterdam facility. Uh, that facility today, and we just acquired that about a year and a half ago. Um, you know, there's a, uh, there's a single customer in there and they occupy approximately 15% of the uh, physical capacity, physical space in that, in that facility. So we're, we're out now um, increasing our utility service to, uh, to that facility. That will allow us to add an additional 11 megawatts in that building. So we are actively pursuing that now. 
Um, our London facility, we're increasing the utility capacity there because we can build an additional five to seven megawatts of capacity in London. We're exploring some other acquisition candidates uh, in the London marketplace also. But Mario, for, uh, for our viewers that want to know more about Server Farm, where should they go? Uh, yeah, you can go to uh, 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 serverfarmllc.com uh, and, uh, you know, we've got a, a great website. Uh, tell you all about our, our platform, our locations, our uh, operations model, um, our in-command service, uh, service platform. So you get a lot of information from, from the website. And if you have not already had a chance to listen, be sure to download the first three episodes of Server Farm's podcast, The Future of Data Centers. You can download that at serverfarmllc.com forward slash podcast, where influencers, journalists, and server farm experts explore the industry's most pressing topics in this unique mini series podcast. So thanks again for joining me today, Mario, and thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon. My pleasure.